Hi, here is a little video of me grooming my wolfhound. She is almost two years old. I'm not a professional groomer. I always groomed my dogs myself just because I don't really trust people with my dogs. And I mean, grooming wolfhound uh, is extremely expensive, probably about $300. So I just do it myself. But you know, when I groom her myself, I totally understand why groomers charge so much. The most difficult part is probably to make her hair completely wet. I mean, if you groom the dog before, you probably know that if the hair is not wet, then shampoo isn't gonna work. Then the next beautiful thing about Wolfhound is the size. So it takes a very long time to clean everything and I always feel like I missed something because she's so big so I always feel like I didn't wash her belly enough or I didn't wash her face enough and you might think that oh she is doing really great with grooming and she is but she secretly hates it I mean not secretly she hates it uh, and I do too. I usually do a full groom probably once every three weeks. And I always try my best to scrub everything, uh, to clean everything. And Santa's hair is so strange for a wolfhound. Because usually they have short hair or like wiry hair. And she has super soft and just so much hair. And here I'm using um, conditioner on her. For me, it is super difficult to maintain her hair with no matings. Uh, I try to brush her a couple of times a week. And I still find mats here and there. And actually, not long ago, we had a little emergency. When I was trying to cut her mat and I used scissors. It was a huge mistake, uh, and accidentally cut her. And we had to go to the vet to get some stitches. So please, only use clippers. So after we're done with grooming, I try to dry her as much as I can with towels. Thankfully, this place, after they saw Santa, they gave us so many towels. But yeah, drying her is probably the most annoying part because it just takes 10 hours and you dry her, you dry her and it just still looks wet. I actually have this super cold dryer at home and I think it dries so much quicker than any of these dryers at uh, self-grooming places. But you know, we just have to work with what we have. Unfortunately, Santa was too big to get on this drying table. So she was just kind of roaming around, which wasn't that easy. And at this point, it was already an hour of just grooming and drying her. And my back was in so much pain. And obviously she wasn't dry at all, but I was like, uh, enough is enough. I tried to finish drying her with towels as much as I could, but yes, we're done. I couldn't do it anymore, uh, but thank you for watching.